So hey there, everybody. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host. And yes, we've been missing for two weeks now. And mostly it's because of topics that I covered several weeks ago as well. Um, we're not going to fully, you know, we're not going to dive in. But bottom line, you know, uh, quick sketch here. Um, back in December, I developed a hernia. Didn't uh, didn't get treatment until the middle of January. Went through my recovery period. Things are looking pretty good. And um, then as I've been walking around and, you know, uh, you know helping myself to get more mobile again, um, I felt like I had a muscle pull while I was out just walking in my neighborhood. Nice, mellow, soft walks. And um, I thought maybe I had done a muscle pull. Went to the physician and apparently I have a second hernia, so a double hernia. Um, I will not be seen by the surgeon until April 8th just to make the assessment. That doesn't mean I'm getting any help then. But I'm five weeks out and I can't keep sitting stuck. This is one of the realities of owning your own small business. If things come up, um, they might get in the way of your business. They they might close your business down at some point. We're not at that point yet. In the meantime, as I've been going through my recovery, I have been working on something that I've wanted to work on for a while now. I was supposed to start this back in November, December, and then all this garbage happens. So I am doing a new full residential drone construction job class at Teachable. It's not accessible to everybody right now. We do have a group of beta testers and we are still growing this. The point of this one, I've gotten a lot of feedback from students and the things that the students say that they like the most is actually coming along to the locations. So I'm taking coming along to the locations and working with me to the next level. I'm We're, we're not scripting this, we're treating this as the job workflow that I go through. So it's it's sometimes me talking with my visual observer, sometimes getting interrupted by people walking one of the construction sites we're working. It's the real live thing. It's not cleaned up, sanitized. It is actually what we as drone operators do when we're working with construction groups and progression reports. So given all the feedback that I've had on other classes, someone recently on one of our other uh, classes in our progression classes said that this was internet gold. Thank you. I'm glad that it was helpful to you. That's why I'm developing this one too. We're, we're broadening this. So I want to give you an overview and let you know maybe in the next month, the month and a half, this will be launched. You know, we had our delays here, but I wanted to bring you through some of it. So the new class is going to be a full residential uh, drone construction job. And we're using our Solstice Ridge 2 as our launching point for this entire class. If you're in our, some of our other classes, you've seen Solstice Ridge, but you've never seen it like this. So we go through the class introduction overview. Don't worry, I'm not going to read all these off to you. But we have the class introduction, you know, how we acquired this job, um, looking into the custom deliverables that we wanted to give the clients, and talking about deliverables that work across platforms. Um, then we talk about the deliverables for this particular job. So I give you an overview of each type of deliverable we're doing. So still images, video, 360s, um, before and after uh, ortho mosaics, all these types of things, 3D models as well. So we talk about these and right now, as I said, this course is still under development. So there are two more classes that are yet to be added to section four. Um, in the section five, I take you out on location. Now, I've gotten some feedback from the beta testers. Hey, you're not showing me all the buttons on the controller. Here's the deal. Uh, this class is not all about your controller um, or the drone you're using. It's about the process and the types of deliverables you can give people. So if you're operating a Mavic 2 Pro, there's going to be major differences um, when you look at my actual flight screen between that and the Mavic 3 Enterprise, let's say, or let's say a Mavic 2S or, you know, whatever drone you're operating. When you look at my video, you're going to say, hey, Rich is working with the M3E, but you can do these things with other drones. So I'm more about the process and the capture and bringing you along into the environment and making you feel like you're there and not so much into how do I set up my drone. Uh, if you're looking into this class, I'm assuming, and that's a bad thing to do, but I'm assuming you have some knowledge of progression reporting and flying your drones right now. 
Um, if you need help with setting up your particular drone controller, there are some videos here uh, at azdrone.net, and there are also some more videos for your specific drone. So this is about the process and the job, and not just the one thing that we corner ourselves with. Everyone sits around and talks about their drone and this spec and that spec. My question to you is, can the drone do the job? And we're going to show you the job. And so after you see the job, you can ask yourself, can the drone that I'm using right now do that job? Or do I need a different platform? Okay, so there we go. Um, section six, offloading and post-processing. So after we did all of our flight day stuff, we came back same day, flight day, and we started offloading everything and working with everything. So this is going to continue to grow. Section seven and section eight will be coming along as well, because we will talk about some specifics. I'll show you a few of the setups with the M3E, but you can do this with other drones as well. All right, everybody. So that's where I've been. I've been missing. We're still dealing with medical nonsense. And let me tell you, I might seem upbeat right now, but this has worn me down. This has been months of getting this done, only to find out that I might have to go through the whole process again. So I'll take all your happy healing thoughts, and maybe the guy's got it wrong on the second one, and maybe it isn't another hernia, and that would make me so happy. But in the meantime, you know, when I can be up and about, and when I can be working on things, we will still be adding to this class. So stay tuned to the channel. If you'd like to like and subscribe and you'll be notified of our next videos and then you'll know as this class is getting assembled. I'm really excited about this class because it's answering what a lot of my students have been saying. They want more of this kind of stuff where you're actually brought through. There's a lot of folks doing great videos out there, but they're super polished. And when I have nothing against a super polished video, but when you're out in the field, you're collecting, you're offloading, you're processing, um, it's not super polished. It's working through your workflow. Um, it's you, you know, making this happen and making those deliverables available for your clients. So I can't wait to fully launch this one and the feedback that I've been getting from the beta students so far has been great just a couple little things to tweak here and there and I totally get that and expect it and down the road if you become a member of this class or if you choose our full class bundle this class is going to be added to just like some of our other classes when we have new topics that are suggested by our students we do listen and those topics that we can cover we will cover for them so we like engaged students here and we hope that uh, I really hope that you'll like and subscribe and keep track of this project and when it's ready all right, everybody, we'll see you again in the near future, I hope. I hope I'm not going away for two weeks again, but, you know, I've been having to get this stuff worked out. We'll see you again really soon, everybody. Have an awesome start to March. We're just about there.